And the performance I thought was really important to happen on Canada Day because if we're going to reflect on what it means to live together on this land, um, we need to think about what brought us here to these lands and they were the treaties and the wampum. So the performance that's happening outside is um, Vanessa. So she's drawing out a giant wampum belt and wampums were used to record treaties and agreements between settlers and the indigenous people of the territory. Exchanges of the wampum belts were really meant um, to bring communities together and to say that we're going to be in a relationship together um, for time immemorial. In um, 1700 it starts to kind of really solidify um, and the dish with one spoon wampum belt is exchanged um, and so the uh, two nations and their allies are agreeing to uh, that the land around the Great Lakes and the St. Lawrence uh, Basin will be a dish that they will share um, and the, the spoon represents one access point um, and it's uh, important that um, it's a spoon and not a knife because they're, um, you know, they don't want there to be any violence or bloodshed around this access to shared food. Three rules that go along with it um, and it's that you take only what you need, leave something for others including the dish and keep the dish clean. So I'm doing it today, Canada Day, uh, because this is a really important agreement between nations that were here before the country of Canada developed. And this, you know, Canadian nation developed on land that Indigenous people were living on and creating their own agreements prior to the development of Canada. And I also think it's important because um, you know, it's between the nations, but it's also between the people and the land itself. Um, and so it's important that everyone who comes to uh, live in the land that the Dish With One Spoon Belt pertains to, um, you know, knows about this and thinks about how they're kind of subject to this treaty as well. <laughs>